Hello and welcome to our first real application or the first real uh, measurement, let's call it, yeah, where we do not just use input and outputs. Of course we use them, but as a tool. Yeah. The first thing we want to do is to measure to measure light intensity. Okay? How this is done? We are using this this thing here. This little thing is a so-called photoresistor. Yeah. What is a photoresistor? A photoresistor is changing his resistance, his electrical resistance, uh, with, with light. If there is a lot of light, it will have low resistance. If there is low light, it will have high resistance. Okay? So, this is this is uh, how the thing is working. To show you a little bit better, I'll show you on on my screen. This this is the thing I'm talking about. Here you see a bigger picture. This is this photoresistor, and you see the resistor element. Yeah, it's a it's a, a semiconductor, and this has the thing that if there's a lot of light it's low on resistance okay so minimum minimum voltage or minimum load on one output minimum load on one output of the Arduino here is around 1k 1 kilo ohm so we'll use this one this one kilo ohm resistor here and plug it between ground and somewhere okay because even if this is now dropping to very low values let's say it's dropped to zero because it's so bright it is a perfect conductor then yeah it drops to zero then we would have at least this 1k in serial This is, this is it, and you notice, some of you hopefully notice already, that we do basically have the same thing like before with the two resistors. Now we have one resistor which is changing and one fixed resistor. So the voltage level of this point here, this will change simply. Because if we have here plus, yeah, and this is very very bright light yeah then here we will have very low voltage drop because it's very low resistor so for the current flow through through the resistor it will not take too much voltage so here we are very high then with high light with high brightness we are high on voltage here and if it's getting low yeah the light then this resistor will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and we will need more and more and more and more uh, voltage to, to let the, the, the charges flow through the resistor. So then this voltage level here drops because from here to here the voltage drops is increased. Voltage drop is increased. Okay. So this is this is what we're going for, what we're looking for. So we just measure the voltage level at this point yeah, with our analog input, and then we know what this this little little photoresistor is measuring. Yeah. To see if this is working, you do not have to do this. Yeah. But to see if this is working, I will now switch my multimeter. Okay, that's not perfect, so I will just lay it on the lay it on the on the table. I will switch multimeter to ohm mode and I will measure the ohms of my resistance resistor here. And here we have what do we have? Come here zero dot nine kilo ohms. 
0.9 kilo ohms. Hopefully this stays. If I just I try now to do it live. Okay, working. I turn off the light now. Turn off the light. And it it, it increases. Now we have 2.3.2 overload 25. Yeah, seems to be somewhere at at uh, at least higher, yeah, three kilo ohms. Yeah. Turn on the light again. Look. See if you can hit it again better. Zero to eight. Yeah. If I cover the resistor, it is increasing. Three, three kilo ohms. If I uncover, zero to eight kilo ohms. So this is. This is because of the brightness. Okay, so this is indeed changing the resistor value. Uh, so, how to contact this? Yeah. I will again do my bracket, my bracket on this side here, plus, plus, minus, minus minus liners <laughs> minus minus of course i have the power supply from my arduino minus and i do have plus five volts yeah. now this this here i already put into into zero volt i will have to take the voltage level from here and connect it to the my analog input zero. Yeah. And then of course I have to bring the five volts somehow, or somehow is good, somehow to my network. Simply by connecting five volts. Yeah. Bend it a little bit so that we can see it better. Okay, so that's the hardware setup. I will now plug in the Arduino. Okay, lights on. So this is still has no short circuit. That's working. Something happening? No. Huh? So uh, let's have a look on the program. I'm just using, I'm just using exactly the same program I've used the last time. Yeah. I will I will upload this program now. I think it's still on, but I will upload it. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the serial monitor and there I see. Okay, we read currently a value of 557. So 44 54.45%. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I will cover now. Or I make a shadow. Ah, look. The shadow is having effect. Okay. If I shadow it, if the if the brightness goes down, also the, 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 the measurement goes down. And if I cover it completely, the measurement goes down to 16%, 17%. If I uncover it, it goes up to 54%. So this can be even looked better with this uh, serial plotter. Then we should get our lines. Here are our, is our line. Let's have a look on the red line. If I cover now, you see it's dropping. If I uncover, it's increasing. Okay. If I turn off the light, look, it's dropping. If I now cover, it's dropping even lower. So this, this is working exactly how we expected. And it's it's not a big it's not a big thing, right? I mean it's just it's just a voltage divider like we've used in our introduction into into uh, analog inputs. Okay. 
when you remember your task your task uh, with the analog inputs was that you should turn on and off the brightness of an LED you now can use it exactly the same program you programmed there yeah, with the LED yeah, you can use here and then if the ambient light is dark the LED will get dimmed and if the ambient light or the measured light the measured brightness is high the LED will get brighter okay you know such behavior you know such behavior from your from your uh, smartphone yeah? your smartphone will dim the display if it's getting dark yeah? if you go inside the house from the bright terrace inside the house or inside your flat or whatever from outside to the inside the display will be dimmed down you will notice and this is exactly doing the same okay so if you're just using the same program as you have coded before this will work so this is how it should work yeah. right now we have some brightness and if i cover if i cover our sensor you notice the brightness or the brightness of the led is going down so our control is reacting on the brightness of our measurement okay so right now it should just be this hardware setup okay for you good so thank you very much for listening yeah. next time we will not uh, measure measure the brightness we will measure uh, the temperature but pretty much with the same with the same principle okay okay thank you goodbye